of the African-American diasporic, what brought it together, what encouraged the, the young people mm -hmm. to go and march That's right. during mm -hmm. that time, mm -hmm. to say, we can't take it anymore, mm -hmm. but not resorting to violence, although violence is done to them constantly. Mm -hmm. It's brutal, and the inheritance, we have the post-traumatic slave syndrome, where we're sure. taught to beat our kids and whatever it was, mm -hmm. you know, but to not be able to be who we really are at the core this incredible music mm -hmm. that lifted everybody right to this fine. day. It is exactly. uniquely ours and has been mm. transposed and has grown into many things, mm -hmm. but it's important that we not lose it yeah, in its original right. form exactly. and its core. Exactly, and uphold the culture because that's the core of this kind of a subculture that was established from being in a strange land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taken from your roots, That's right. right? As a people. So you can't go and say all the things like I'm from such and such a village. Right. Or these are the things that are things. This is my land. Right. You can only say, no, you're not, you're not. You hear a lot of you're not. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're not, and then mm -hmm. you're this. Mm -hmm. Definitions of who we are as opposed to what we really are. At the core of all, we're soul. Right. That's right. We're soul. Right. We're soul. It's right. soul transcending, and we were such loving culture. Mm -hmm. Before it became and forgiving, absolutely and forgiving. I mean, and anything forgiving. you could always come back. Mm -hmm. There's <laughs> exactly. always like, a, oh, baby, that's all right. That's gonna be all right. But understand mm -hmm. all these people going through their own personal pain, their own collective pain. You know, losing who they are, their own identity as individuals and as a culture, coming together to create this new culture. Exactly that which they all understood, and just by word of mouth, it spread throughout the land, and to still have it is, is quite a gift. Quite a gift, and one of the extraordinary ways that this gift grew was when they started Fisk um, University, mm -hmm. and they had a few students, and the general, he was a Caucasian general, who came and tried to get them to sing these old Christian, mm -hmm. Christian songs. songs. right. And one young girl said, uh, he heard her singing, and he said, no, well, these are the songs that my mother sang to me in secret. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, and you go back, so then he said, well, that sounds great. And she was only 14 years old. So when the Fisk Jubilee Singers went out to raise money to, to build Jubilee Hall, mm -hmm. they toured for seven years. Mm. They toured for seven years with these seven students from age, age 14 to 28. Uh, they went to England. Wow. They went to um, Denmark. Mm -hmm. They went to India. They traveled for seven years. One stayed back and stayed and became like a Scottish guy over mm -hmm. there. One had a stroke at 20 from the strain wow. of doing this. But they came back with $150,000 to build Jubilee Hall. Oh, wow. So that was the beginning of that, um, you know, the Fist Jubilee and keeping the culture because these were never written. Right. So then you had James Weldon Johnson and his right. brother who said, okay, we're going to write some down. Exactly. Some. And mm -hmm. then that began to see that, but it's always an oral. It's always... The unknown, it's never, um, it always says like with the, they explained once um, on to a YouTube thing where they said, Amazing Grace was mm -hmm. written by that. The slave owner. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. No, the um, captain. Captain, right? Captain. Mm -hmm. But they say in the halls of Congress that the melody is attributed to the unknown slave. Oh. The words were that. there, but unknown the slave. Un the unknown mm -hmm. slave. Because, here we go. They might not have spoken the same language coming over, but they had the pentatonic scale. Now, you know in church, all them folks can play on black notes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> play anything you want on black notes. Right. <laughs> Stevie wanted to play on black, black notes a lot. <laughs> so that's the whole idea of, but the importance oh, of our roots, we have to keep it up. Well, the importance of the project that you're working on and the music you're going to let everyone hear for years to come says a lot about who you are and the blessings that you've been. Oh. It does. It does. It I just speak the truth does. on it. It does. And as we were talking about it, mm -hmm. don't you think? We were talking about it and yes. said, this is a great thing. We didn't ask for it, and all of a sudden, God provided it, and God provided you as a source. And we know the depth of relationship mm -hmm. that you had with Dr. Lehman. And with, and with St. Paul, our St. Paul family. Absolutely. And so we get so excited about it, and we're really excited that we're going to be able to enjoy it and be able to share it and let it resonate. Can I say that? Mm -hmm. Resonate for many, many years to come. And I hope it In is. this sanctuary and wherever we can get it out to. Absolutely. I, I really, this is a gift 
Mm -hmm. It is a gift. They say what you give away is yours, and yeah. what you keep isn't. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking the Lord, what am I doing? You're right. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? Right. But it's important. It's important. It's important that people remember who they are. Mm -hmm. And the way John and I were able to arrange oh, these wow. spirituals, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. like, it sounds fresh. And the beautiful young singers I have in the back, they're just adding like a, a beautiful um, atmospheric sound to mm -hmm. it. I'm just really amazed. Well, I know John would be so pleased because he was fighting a constant battle to still continue to perform right. the songs. Mm -hmm. You know, with a choir who wanted to do more Kirk Franklin and mm -hmm. wanted to, you know, more make it to, more to meet the audience where they were mm -hmm. rather than to bring the older songs along with them. Mm -hmm. You know, in, 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 in wanting to bring younger people into the church and feeling that that wouldn't do it, that there was some kind of gap there. Mm -hmm. um, but the songs you go to mm -hmm. when you need a song... <laughs> Those are the old ones. Absolutely. You know, when you think of your grandmother, you go to the old ones. Mm -hmm. When you when you think of your history and your culture, you those are the, the ones, ones you go to. And he didn't want that to be lost. Right. And I was right there with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So give Jimmy a little bit of hearing you sing just one that you remember from back in the day that you heard as a little child, just a little, because they were oh, wow. acapella songs. They didn't have a whole bunch of nothing going on. Um, the one that... Um, I don't know if I know all the words offhand, but um, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know that. See, we never knew all the words, but we knew, right. <laughs> we knew a, the chorus. What a fellowship, what a joy. Joy divine. divine. That mm -hmm. reminds mm -hmm. me of my grandmother. Every time we sing it, I, it, I almost cry because Come it here. reminds me. Um, what a fellowship, what a joy, joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessed peace, what a blessed is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarms, leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting like all yeah. day every day uh-huh oh my god as a people that we had no choice right absolutely yeah. you know and the wading in the water and all those kind of beautiful words of common sense common mm -hmm. people commonality it wasn't about the singing voice it was about the devotion for god That's each right. person exactly. were cultivating because you you know they said you had to get somebody who can get a prayer through right that's mm -hmm. right that's, that's right. right so that's how do you right. get a prayer through just keep going to the God. Yeah, from just your keep heart, going from you know, your heart. That's family right. that what? Yeah. Praise together, Praise. stays together. That's right. right. That's so right. It's all about that. And thank you so much for letting me feel like I belong here. And you do. Absolutely. Thank you yeah, so absolutely. Much. And I'm here for whatever. My best, you know, my schedule is like I'm a wife, I'm a mother. <laughs> <laughs> you have a few whatever. things that you do. Just right? yeah. Uh -huh. Lately I've been a builder. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I heard that you were doing some building. I said, oh, oh now she has a new profession. Yeah, it's called get it done. Get her done. <laughs> get her done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much. Come home yeah. often. Oh, yes, thank please. You. And thank you for all the those who participated in this project. The St. Paul family is eternally grateful to you, and we know that God's going to bring a blessing to it. We have no doubt about that whatsoever. And we're naming this album that come out. It has 10 songs. Oh, wow. And it's called Carry On. Okay. There we go. Spiritual, uh, Spiritual's Volume 2. Okay. To God okay. be the glory. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.